Rangers, Rangers, Rangers. Boy, did you fuck this up. Oh, my God. This was your easiest chance to at least get to the cup final, let alone win it. And you completely shit the bed. I mean, I thought... I thought Carol I thought the Carolina Hurricanes messing up last year was bad. This was worse. And it has nothing to do with the presidential trophy, okay? The, the 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 curse isn't part of it. Even with that trophy and that little uh, black cloud hanging over it, that Rangers team should have should be in the f cup final at least. They completely screwed it up. They they had no answer. It was a team effort. Basically, what I saw was what I saw was a team who decided, "Hey, we have the best goalie in the league. Let's leave everything up to him." It's it's the NHL equivalent of the Baltimore Ravens, where they just where they just have Lamar Jackson do literally all the work. I mean, the core, a lot of the core players disappeared. Adam Fox underperformed. Um, Artemi Pan Artemi Panarin's goal in Game Six was his first in eight in, in was it eight games nine games. Zabanajad had one point through the whole series against Florida. It's just disgusting the way they played. They just completely disappeared. Completely disappeared. This the Florida Panthers are beatable. This is not a deep team. The Rangers should have easily swept them. Not even close. Not even close. So, Florida is in the cup final for the second straight year. And for the fifth straight year overall, the Sunshine State will host, well not host, will host Stanley Cup final games. They'll be involved in the Stanley Cup final. Because remember, for the first three, for the first three years, it was the Tampa Bay Lightning. Of course, they won the whole thing in 20. They won the whole, they won the whole thing in 20. They won it again in 21. In 22, oops, sorry about that, but uh, in 22, this happened <laughs> to them, that's what I meant to do, um, and um, of course last year it was for the Panthers, and now they're back again, this is, this is clearly shades of, um, this is clearly shades of um, uh, the the province of Alberta in the eighties. Because remember, because remember, uh, Alberta was represented in eight straight Cup finals from eighty three to ninety. Though most of those were the Oilers, you know, Wayne Gretzky, and Mark Messier, and Yari Curry, and all of them. Six of them were the Oilers. Two of them, eighty six and eighty nine, were the Flames. But yeah, Al yeah, the province of Alberta was dominating the NHL. Throughout the rest of the '80s and entering, of course, 1990 was Edmonton uh, winning the cup for the fifth and most recent time, the only time after trading Gretzky. But um, yeah, so Florida, the Panthers get get another chance. This is their third overall appearance in the final. Of course, the first time was in '96, that crazy year, and of course they were there last year. Now they're back at it this year, and. They are one of, uh, I think it's 11 teams that um, haven't won a cup. I think it's 11. They're, they're looking to get their first. A lot of first time, a lot of first time champions. Uh, a, a lot of team, a lot of a lot of teams that haven't won the cup have 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 reached the final and almost come close. And we have seen first time champions crown a lot in the last few years. Um, so, will we see it again this year? Well, we'll definitely know in a matter of days. And it's just fascinating. It's fascinating. Like I said, five straight years at the state of Florida is part of the cup, part of the cup final. Before the 90s, nobody, I don't think anybody even thought of having the NHL, NHL team in Florida. And now we got two. The, the Lightning were first. They came in in 92. And um, the... Um, Panthers came a year later, ninety three, and of course um, the um, the Lightning won their first cup in 04, and they now have three, and and the Panthers are looking for their first one. But yeah, 
They got another chance. I can't believe it. They should have made it this far, but here they are again. Because the Rangers decided to disappear. We couldn't see them. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it's back to the drawing board for the Rangers. And again, the I mentioned the President's Trophy, that drop continues. No Stanley Cup wins or Stanley Cup final appearances since the Blackhawks in 2013. That shortened year. So, yeah, the Panthers made it. Should be interesting. They might have it. They might win it. They have a chance. They have a better chance now. Because last year, it was um, last year it was just um, house money. You know, they were the literal they were the literal sixteen seed. They were the literal sixteen seed in last year's playoffs, and they pulled off the big upset against uh, the sixty five win Bruins team. And then they had that winning tear where they beat out Toronto and swept uh, Carolina, and uh, they, they just happened to make it this year. There's little bit of expectations that's and and which leads me to what i'm about to say they did not touch the trophy i know a lot of hockey fans who have who didn't watch are wondering but no they did not touch the prince of wales trophy we all know that that's silly superstition it is silly because there's really nothing to it we all but the, but the superstition is of course if you touch the conference trophy then you're not thinking about the big picture which is the stanley cup but i've seen teams touch the conference trophy and go on to win the thing. We did two years ago. Two years ago, we touched the Clarence Campbell Bowl, which is the Western Conference trophy. We touched that, and well, this happened. So there's really nothing to that. However, Vegas didn't touch the Campbell Bowl last year, so who knows? But yeah, for yeah, the Panthers decided. The Panthers decided to take it a little bit seriously because you know last year again. They were playing with house money. So, of course, they were going to touch that trophy and pick it up and celebrate with it. Ah, we, we're in the cup final. Yeah, we, of course they're going to do that. Because nobody expected them to win, like, one playoff game. Then you go on to win, what, 13? Just like the Canadiens in 21? But this year, it's a, this year's different. So, they, they stood for the photo and not one finger touched that trophy. Not one. Will we be asking that question tomorrow? Will we be ask, Will we be asking? Will Conor McDavid touch the Clarence Campbell Bowl? We'll find out tomorrow. Tomorrow is Game Six of the Western Conference Final between the Oilers and the Stars, and the Oilers are three games to two. They have a maximum two chances, two chances to clinch the series and reach the Cup Final. Now, here's the situation as far as home ice. Remember, Stanley Cup Final starts next Saturday, uh, June eighth. Um, if if uh, Edmonton wins Game Six tomorrow, Game One's in Sunrise, Florida, because Edmonton is, uh, I think, the low, the worst team left. So if Edmonton wins Game One's in, in Sunrise, Florida. If Dallas wins tomorrow and Tuesday, then Game One final is in Dallas, because Dallas has a better record than uh, Florida. So it's gonna be interesting. Florida fans might be pulling for Edmonton to, to pull it out, so they can start the Cup final at home. But um. That's something they've never had, by the way. They've never had home ice advantage in the cup final. The previous two, they didn't have home ice advantage. They have a chance for it this year. So that is my recap of Game 6 of the East. If you like this video, click the like button. If you're on YouTube, click subscribe if you want more. If you're on TikTok, feel free to hit that follow button. My story about the Rangers, check it out because I really go scorched earth on them. It's featured. Check it out. And I'll be back tomorrow to recap Game 6 in the West. And maybe with a postmortem for the Dallas Stars? Yes? No? Who knows? So stay tuned.